What is coaching? How might you benefit from working with a coach? Why should you even think about it? Hi, I'm Dr. Richard McKinnon. I'm a workplace psychologist. And on this channel, I share insights from the science of psychology to help you be your best self at work. This time, I'd like to turn my attention to coaching. It's something that I spend an awful lot of my time doing, but it's also something that is very, very misunderstood. Coaching can mean very different things to different people, coaches included, unfortunately. So let me bring it right back down to the fundamentals. Coaching is an intentional one-to-one -one development activity. That's how I frame it, or to put it in even simpler terms. A coach helps a coachee to build their self-awareness so they can move from being stuck to unstuck, to move from a pattern of behavior that's not serving them well to identifying and pursuing new options, or stuck with a lack of awareness of what they could do next and helping them to get unstuck to pursue their goals. At its simplest level, it is just that. As a coach, a coaching psychologist to be specific, I want to understand what's going on for you in terms of your thoughts, your emotions and your behavior, your view of yourself as a person, uh, your motivation, uh, your plans and your goals. That's all really important and nothing's going to change unless you understand the role that your thoughts and emotions and behavior are playing in your life. Now, coaching is not a panacea. It is not a magic bullet, or is that a silver bullet? Anyway, it's not a bullet of any description. It involves hard work. It involves choices, and choices are uncomfortable. So are priorities. It involves doing new things, but the payoff can be magnificent. I try and adopt a team-like atmosphere. We're gonna work together, you and I, and we'll pool our expertise and our knowledge about you so that you can be the person that you want to be. I'm not going to sit you down and label what's wrong with you and then tell you what to do. Labels are rarely helpful and they tend to stick. They can limit our view of ourselves. Your coach isn't your friend, but your coach also isn't your manager or your spouse. It's a very different kind of relationship. As a coach, I provide support, I use empathy, but I also use accountability to follow up, to discuss with you what you said you were going to do. And we'll talk about why you did it, how it went, or indeed why you didn't do it. It's not like coming to your boss with unfinished tasks and bracing yourself for criticism. It's about talking to someone else who's really motivated to help you get where you want to be. It's a unique relationship. And when both parties know what they're doing and they can be open and honest with each other and they put the work in, tremendous things can happen. So in a sense, coaching is exploratory and a mission of discovery, but it's also about action. Otherwise, we just have some lovely, enjoyable conversations about you and who doesn't love that? But we need to turn those conversations into action, doing things differently, doing new things, trying new ways of being in order to get where you want to be. And of course, that can involve some discomfort, but uh, if it doesn't feel strange, it's not change, as they say. And so much of coaching is about new things. So much of it is about change. Now, it's a really common frustration for coachees that I won't tell them what they should do. Uh, that's no help at all. Uh, it's about uncovering the options from within, discussing those options and weighing them up so you can identify for yourself what it is that you're going to do. The benefit I bring to the table, yes, is the coaching skills and the psychology domain knowledge, but it's also the objectivity. In a sense, I don't have any skin in the game. My job is not to make you feel happy, and my job is not to make you feel comfortable. If anything, it's to help you get out of that comfort zone so you can feel the safe discomfort of change and attain the goals that are really important to you. Now, there are so many ways that coaching is misunderstood. In fact, I'm gonna make a whole separate video about that. But for now, let's just agree that coaching is about development. 
coaching is not counseling or therapy and it's also not mentoring and telling someone how they should copy what you've done to achieve your career success. Coaching is not just for executives and that's something that a lot of people will ask me. Uh, what's it like to work with such senior people? Well, yeah, they're people just like you and me, but I also work with people at the very beginning of their career in the most junior roles in organizations. Coaching is not about seniority. Coaching is about self-discovery, self-awareness, action, change, and goals. And that applies to all of us who are human. Now the range of topics that I cover is not limitless, but it's very big. Really common topics are how to manage pressure and stress and developing skills in order to persist through and develop resilience in the face of challenges, but also learning how to delegate or step into a more senior position or adapt to change, deal with challenging relationships because no matter what we do at work, we have to work with others. Coaching can be about learning how to prioritize and do what matters to get right back to basics and understand what makes you tick, your motivators and your values. Coaching can be about dropping some habits that aren't helpful, like our evergreen topic of procrastination. But it can also be about acquiring new habits and learning how to acquire new habits to move slowly but steadily towards being the kind of person that you want to be. And that slow and steady, or little and often, is a much more sustainable way to making change than big bang, new year, new me, which is always a risk at the start of each calendar year. So two ways you can find out a lot more about coaching and my approach specifically to coaching. One, subscribe to this channel. There's plenty more content like this on the way. Secondly, you can visit the website at worklifepsych.com. And if you go to forward slash coaching, you'll learn a lot more about how I and the team at Work Life Psych provide coaching and the evidence base that supports our methods and our processes. Thanks for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this and it's maybe answered some questions that you've had about coaching. But please, one of the benefits of this medium is the opportunity you have to ask questions. So put them in the comments below and I'll do my very best to answer them quickly. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.